Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm trying to get my clock ready so I can get the fastest three minutes because I'm going to stay on point this time. Um, and the sneaker industry. So, boom, that's my quick introduction. And I'm at three minutes and we're counting down now. And if you missed this week on the website, because I know a lot of you guys on YouTube don't go to the website over there and you don't visit and see the things that I'm writing about there. So to make sure you know what was going on this week in the sneaker industry, I'm going to show you the things that I wrote this week, which was Adidas Outdoor plus One Climb and the fact that they're going to build a bunch of rock climbing walls. And if you saw the video last week, you know I went rock climbing. They're going to build a bunch of rock climbing walls in about 10 different boys and girls. Uh, locations throughout the country and that's pretty cool then i have an article on the under armor asia tour and the fact that basketball is really important although the sales are down in basketball but it's still really important because of asia so those are like the two biggest stories that i wrote this week you have a few other things i did the sustainability report but the topics that i'm jumping on this week these are the articles that i wanted to write but i didn't have enough time to get to them so they're going into inside of ties so you can check out those articles yourself and the first one starts with vans now we know that vans is kind of just taken off and it's exploded and i explain to people all the time when they ask me why do i think vans did very well it's the right price first they have more locations that they've been placed in outside of just journeys and uh lower end stores they are now carried in foot locker stores in a pretty big amount so you can get them and they're readily available. And they're only $75 or less. But it's one thing that Vans has been doing the entire time and that's staying true to who they are as a company. And one of the coolest things you can do as a company is to support high schools. I used to teach high school, so it's very near and dear to my heart when a company decides to create a program where they give a considerable, a considerable amount of money to a high school. And Vans did that with basically their Vans Custom Culture Art Competition where they gave $75,000 to Flagstaff High School. They also gave $10,000 to three other schools. You can read about that on the website and I'm going to put it in the description down here so you can go and check that out. Now, the other thing that I wanted to write about this week basically is the fact that Puma, now I'm going to make sure you see that, Puma is the number one brand in India. I know you guys are like, this is the US, we're not worried about India, but how they did it speaks directly to what I've said probably for the last five years when talking about DTC. Puma has a ton of stores. Now I'm going down here so I can find it because this is the most important part of it. 274 price stores and 80 factory outlet stores. That growth for Puma in India happens primarily because they have enough doors. If you don't think stores are going to start closing in the U.S. and more brand stores are going to start popping up, you need to think again. DTC runs the world. That's it for this week. I'll see you guys next Friday. Well, I'll see you Monday for the sustainability report then Wednesday for another show. But that's it. Peace. Have a great weekend.